What is going on, Techno Bros viewers? This is your boy Adam, and I'm pretty sure you're trying to figure out how to get 100 subs if you clicked on this video. Either that, or you're one of our subscribers. Thank you, we really appreciate it. But anyway, let me just go off and say YouTube is definitely not about the subscribers. Now, before you leave, before you click off this video and dislike it and all that stuff, hear me out, hear me out, okay? So, clearly, having people view your videos is important. But just because they click subscribe doesn't necessarily mean that they like the video, they care about your content, or they even want to stay tuned for more content by you. So really when you think about it, just because someone clicks subscribe doesn't mean they're actually subscribed, which kind of sounds stupid, but you understand what I'm saying. This is my advice. This is what I think works on YouTube. Now, I'm pretty sure you can click on any other YouTuber that makes uh, tips and tricks videos and they'll let you know their opinions, but these are my opinions, so take them however you want to. So, there are three major things that you need to get established on your channel if you plan on gaining subscribers and gaining consistent views on your channel. The first thing you have to do is make consistent content now that can be daily weekly whatever you want to do just make sure you have some type of format for when you're going to post your videos and let your subscribers know that is when you're posting your videos and stay consistent with that if you tell someone you're gonna make videos on this day they're gonna have that in the back of their head to go back and be like oh yeah such and such guys making this video so I need to go check out a channel our channel kinda has trouble with that due to like technical difficulties and things of that nature but when I say consistent content that doesn't just mean the scheduling of your videos you need to be consistent with the content that you bring when you first start off on YouTube you kinda wanna have a set basis of what games you're going to play now in our channels is this we kinda don't follow that rule but I'm gonna kinda explain how that revolves around our channel how it kinda works but for like let's say for instance you wanna be a let's play channel you don't want to have multiple let's plays at a time like all at once if you're going to play I don't know Call of Duty play Call of Duty and make that your thing don't necessarily play Call of Duty and then the next video I don't know you're doing Minecraft a Minecraft let's play and then the next video you're doing uh, I don't know like Halo and then the next video you're doing Mario Kart etc etc you know what I mean if you're a small channel the best thing that you can do basically to gain views and subscribers faster is to have consistent basis because that way you can find other youtubers other small youtubers that are basically doing the same thing as you you can collaborate with them and when people view your channel they know that this is what you do versus you doing all these different things and then they don't know exactly what your channel is however with our channel we do a lot of different things but this kinda goes into play with consistency in our personality so what we do the techno bros we're kind of like a funny little group I don't want to say I'm the regular guy I can I can be funny at times but you know I guess um, I'm just that guy <laughs> anyway Tay he's like the sarcastic funny guy you know what I mean he's always there and he's always consistent with the gameplay and stuff he always playing like Nintendo games you see him online stuff like that now you got Q he is the rage guy he always gets mad <laughs> he's always cursing etc etc <laughs> so he plays like Call of Duty and stuff and you know then we got C4 he does like a lind of tech stuff and things like that so when you kinda put us all together it's kinda like a consistent personality especially uh, like when we play Smash we're always playing the same way it's like fast paced funny like that so when you kinda separate us we're basically the same way so in a, in a sense it's kinda like we're the product so people don't necessarily come to our videos to watch the gameplay they're watching to see what we're going to do and that's kind of one of the big things about YouTube besides just playing the games you want to make yourself the product and not the game that you're playing that way you can basically play anything and that kinda of contradicts what I said before about being consistent but when you're a small channel the best thing that you can do is have a consistent layout so when we first started we started off with Mario Kart 8 and we had tech videos on the side so that was like a small playground of what we did but now we're playing all different games and we can get good views because people aren't necessarily clicking the video to see the gameplay they're just clicking the videos to you know see how funny we are and things like that and that's one of the things you want to do if you want to be successful on YouTube and gain subscribers the second major thing that you have to establish on your channel is quality you have to have HD quality if you're playing video games you need to have a capture card now we have an Elgato HD 60 and even with that sometimes we don't record in 60 frames per second because of my garbage laptop but anyway you just need to have HD quality because if you're in standard definition no one is going to stay for that video when we first started our videos were in standard definition and it was garbage like you can there's still a few videos up like go to some of our Mario Kart videos there's they're in standard definition 
and they're not that good so you want to have HD quality and that's one of the things with YouTube too you're gonna have to invest in things like that you're gonna have to spend money like we had to buy a capture card we had to buy a laptop that can output in HD and going in my second point you have to have good audio people need to hear you now you don't have to necessarily go out and buy an expensive a microphone or a headset or things like that when we first started out we used my cell phone and actually recorded pretty decent you can hear all our voices and that's the major thing you can hear the voices clear it doesn't have to be like super quality you know big like that like right now I'm using a blue snowball microphone which is better quality than my my cell phone but you understand what I'm saying like gradually you want to get better and better but you don't necessarily need the most expensive thing at the start so if you can use your cell phone you can record like that and basically just transfer the audio from your phone onto your laptop and edit like that another thing too you want to have a good editing software I understand this sounds expensive like having like a good editing software like Sony Vegas or Premiere or things like that and I understand some of you don't have the money but like a good software that we used to use is Windows Movie Maker now I understand you can't really do much with it but if you're just trying to put gameplay on top of audio and sync it like that and if you want to chop it up things like that you can do that with that editor and it's not bad if you're not doing anything crazy like face cams or things like that then Windows Movie Maker will be okay for the start but like I said you're gonna have to eventually invest in a good editing software if you want to go far on YouTube but as far as getting 100 subscribers you could probably get 100 subscribers using Windows Movie Maker and that's okay like we understand like money isn't money isn't there for everyone so you know do what you have to do one important thing about quality never just push out videos because you want to be consistent now like I said you want to have a good schedule of your videos but don't push out videos just to stay on schedule like if you think a video that you made is boring or not interesting don't post it so like nowadays what we like to do we like to make sure before we even post we look through the video we sound we listen through the audio and like even if we're recording like there are a lot of videos that we recorded and edited and we watched them back and we were like that's not funny enough we're not gonna post that and like I said it's kinda difficult to stay on schedule with your videos and have like not boring videos but that's one of the things like you have to put time into this this isn't easy like if it was easy everyone would be at like a hundred thousand plus subscribers it's not easy so you know you're gonna have to basically figure out your niche you're gonna have to figure out how to make your videos appealing and funny or just interesting in general and if you have a boring video that you made don't post it don't be one of those people that just pushes out videos just to push them out you know what I'm saying they'll be more inclined to click the subscribe button now the last thing and I'm sure you've heard this so many times and it is completely true you always want to have fun when you're making these YouTube videos remember what you're doing for us we're playing video games and posting them on YouTube for you guys to watch and play that is just like thinking about that is mind-blowing and it's always fun like every time we meet up and record it's always a good time because we understand this is something that we like to do it's a hobby that we've kind of transformed into something bigger never forget that you're you're supposed to be having fun this is YouTube this isn't a job remember that something to help that is to record with friends like like I said the techno bros we all know each other we're good friends things like that but if you can't record with friends you know try your best to collaborate with people that are doing the same thing as you or you know just just have fun by yourself like you know there's let's players that always have fun by themselves and they keep the listeners and the viewers engaged just because of the fact that they always have that that fun personality behind them because they're having fun playing the games that they love to play so you know always remember to have fun and that's a big big thing that you want to have with your channel and the thing is too if you're having fun with your videos you probably won't even worry about the subscribers and views that you're getting because at the end of the day you're making these videos to be shared across the world never beg for views and subs like all that stuff in your videos like it's okay to have it like the end of the video say if you like this video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe things like that that's what we do but don't start the video off like subscribe and like the video and you haven't even shown them anything like that that is really annoying and people will instantly click off your videos if that's something that you do so you know always bring the content first and then if you want to ask and be like you know suggest them to you know watch more videos or click the subscribe button leave comments etc do that 
never sub for sub either that is one of the worst things that you can do because like nine times out of ten if you sub for sub they're not even gonna watch your videos they're just boosting that number and like I said before that number really means nothing because the thing with YouTube channels, it's like you're creating a small community. A subscriber is someone that watches your videos because they want to watch them, not because you ask them to and then you, in turn, subscribe to them too. Like, that doesn't make sense. So, you know, never do that. As far as credibility for us, you know, right now, at the making of this video, we are at a 122 subscribers. We're at 94 videos, and we're almost at 10,000 channel views, which is insane like that that is really insane the thing is like when we first made our channel like we joked around and said oh we're gonna be big on YouTube and like we kind of understood that you know that's something that takes a lot of time but like at the point that we're at like I never would have thought that we would have made all the friends that we have made on YouTube like people that we can collab with things like that so like we love what we're doing as far as like having fun YouTube is the thing for you so if you want to make a YouTube channel be sure to like Go for it. Like, there's nothing holding you back. Just understand that there are, like, things you have to do if you want to have a good channel. Just do this because this is what you love to do and you want to share this content with the world. And eventually, people will come. Like, nine times out of ten, there's always going to be someone else that likes what you're doing. So, it's just a matter of, like, being patient with this. So, yeah, those are my tips and tricks for getting 100 subscribers on YouTube. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this helped you guys that want to make YouTube channels and... We really appreciate all the love and support that we've been getting for the past year or so. This year, we have some big things for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, this is Adam from the Techno Bros signing off, and we'll see you bros in the next video. Peace.